Hey guys, I'm Montana with Croft, and today I am going to be showing you how to make a little clay trinket dish like this. First, be sure to subscribe and then we'll get started. We are going to cover two different methods for making your clay trinket dish. First, start with a third of your block of clay and flatten it out into one slab of clay, about a quarter of an inch or three fourths of a centimeter thick. You can flatten your clay with a rolling pin or any equivalent tool. Once your slab of clay is good to go, carve out whatever shape you would like for the base of your dish. Keep your hand steady and move your forearm in the direction you want to cut your clay. Use your finger or a tool to smooth out your pieces needed. Then, all we're going to do is set the piece of clay into a bowl so the sides curve up and let your piece dry in that bowl for about 24 hours. After you take it out of the bowl, it will maintain that shape and is perfect for using as a trinket dish. For the other method, we'll build and attach walls instead. So again, flatten your clay and carve out whatever shape you'd like for the base of your trinket dish. Then using leftover clay or another piece from your block, we'll roll out another slab of clay. This one should be narrow and long. With that slab, we'll carve out two long rectangles for the walls. Then shape and trim them so they align with the base piece. If you're liking this video so far, be sure to like and subscribe. To attach the walls, we'll take our needle tool and score the edges of our base piece and then the bottom of each wall. To score, just draw little X's or hashtags with your tool. Dab the scored areas with water, attach, and blend with your spoon-shaped tool. If your walls are uneven at all, you can use your wire tool to trim and then smooth with your fingers or spoon shaped tool. Keep using your fingers and tools to blend and smooth until your dish is ready to dry. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and let us know what you wanna learn next.